Hey, you know this is Barking Every Day, we got the disturbing effect fame has on people. But, ooh, let's get straight into this video. Alright, let's see this. Famous. That time Yo, do you want to be famous? That Drake yes. famous. That time of famous that you can't even go out the house. Would you want to be so famous that nothing about your personal life is actually private? So famous that you can't even talk to another person without the whole fucking world knowing about that shit? As a human, you can't fuck up. You really want to be that famous? Everybody. Yeah, being famous has con too. Like, it's good being famous, that you're rich and all that stuff, but like, you can't live a normal life at all, my nigga. Like, so, what's it called? You so stop to do whatever you want to do, like for real. People are just weird nowadays. Who wants to be famous till they actually know what famous implies? At first, people think that being famous means you're special. You get all the special privileges of life that you can think of. You're more important than everybody. But then you realize being special also has a bad meaning. I mean, there's a reason why they call the mentally challenged special kids. Let me give you an example. Doja Cat. Doja Cat is a talented artist, and she got a fat ass too. I ain't gonna lie, she look good as fuck. God damn. I'm pretty sure that that was the greatest thing that ever happened to her. But not even three years later, Doja Cat is now known as the crazy crackhead who shows off her body and worships the devil for attention what the fuck happened nah, the nah, she switched. Like, where's the old fame cat, dog? Come on. got to her head but let's be for real here bro doja cat went from Jesus in her life, for real. one of the baddest in the fucking game to jada pinkett smith most of the time the fame getting to somebody's head means they just got cocky or arrogant or they just think that they're better than everybody which is true it's i mean let's tough. just be fucking for real here you're telling me an established grand me winning pop star isn't better than the average bianca working at chipotle bro like let's be fucking for real so in my opinion the fame getting to your head is a stupid term when you associate that shit with fucking cockiness how else are they supposed to think what i mean the thing is like about fame like i thought people would be way smarter with fame like for real like you would help the people around you and all that stuff like but people are just dumb like for real like niggas gotta start stop less being arrogant for real and being positive me by the fame got to her head is that she finally realized the actual situation she was in. She is trapped. So now the question is, Cloud, how the fuck is Dojo Cat trapped? Let me explain to you. And yeah, that's why I'm truly excited to announce that T. Kelly, a You're not getting very, me. very You're good not friend getting of the me tonight. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. crazy you're not getting me. Amazing deal. Aspects of those three things you just try. change. Once you're a famous artist, your schedule will pretty much be packed until you fall off. But, but once your schedule is packed, those three things that I mentioned start to take a back seat. You start caring less about yourself. You start caring less about your family. You start caring more about what people think about you. And all of this causes an insane level of stress. Everybody has to have a stress relief. Like that nigga is like and that nigga's like, like people are falling for that nigga like for real like that thing is crazy like, like i get why niggas need security and all that stuff like that shit is too crazy like for real like fame fame is good but it's just like people are just anti-social like that that just made people not wanting to go out sometimes like for real like things are just weird sometimes most people nowadays don't know how to actually deal with stress. They don't know meditation, working out, and overall family time can just Fact. cool stress off. So what people resort to, especially these big time celebrities, is drugs, sex, and self-harm. Like it used to only be gas or drinking or whatever. But now a lot of these rappers and celebrities are popping perks, drinking lean, sniffing coke. Like goddamn nigga, can y'all just not live? Like bro, try being sober for a week, bro. Like it's literally impossible for these people to stay sober. And that shit is really, really sad. But the more stress that's you heard them kids be sober. Caused on your brain means the more drugs. Bro, all that cigarette and shit, like it's not good, like <laughs> Like, it's not going to help your body at all. Like, you're just going to be more dumb. For real. Like, <laughs> and make more bad decisions. Like, stay off the drugs. Or if you're going to do it, like, don't do too much of it. But I recommend don't smoke at all. Like, because you're going to get addicted. Like, that's one thing. Like, it's easy to get dragged into addictions like that. Or vape and all that stuff. Or take drugs.
So you feel like you should take and that's just kind of what happened and i think in the case of doja cat we're seeing the product of drugs just overall fucking you up and if you really look at really any rapper you see that all of them abuse drugs are never truly happy and most of the time are just living pointless and meaningless lives that same thing applies to numerous amounts of other celebrities so for the main point of this video fame isn't what it's cracked up to be i know that's a quote that's been said multiple times by multiple different people but most of the time people don't actually understand why that's a true statement but on the brighter side there's a lot of examples of people getting famous and them just staying focused and being happy for instance kevin hart kevin hart seems like he loves his life i mean he has a wife nigga he's a comedian but shit like that's life Hey, jeez, on, let's be real. Kids, he's rich as hell, he's still happy. There's plenty of other celebrities that are happy. But in all likelihood, most of the time, you really can't promise that you'll end up as one of those. While you probably think that you'll but just... Anything with God, like, anything is possible for real. Just imagine we go down the right path. In all likelihood, nigga, you're gonna fuck up. Like, let's just be fucking for real. Like, we're all... That's one thing that... that everyone's gonna mess up in life like there's no, nothing else not something for messing everything is difficult like just expect failure but through that failure you're gonna prevail like that's the thing like every time you fail you're gonna get better at some, doing something like just make that make sense that's all Oh, fuck ups, bro. That's just how it is. Just some of us are less fuck ups and the rest are just fuck ups. It is what it is and that's just life. But when you're famous, your fuck ups just mean way more. And not everybody is built for that pressure that fame puts on you. And honestly, that's the real reason on why a lot of people crash out. So to all the people that want to be famous, is that really what you want? Do you really want to be famous? Or are you just an attention seeking whore? You can just be real. I ain't gonna lie like, I mean, just be real. Because me personally, I feel like being rich is way better than being famous. A lot of you might think being- That's facts. Like, I'd rather be rich than famous. Let's be real like, fame is just too much. Niggas are on you, like, for real like. And you just live in comfortable, like, and nobody knows you, like, but just imagine just being rich and no fame at all, like, I, I won't agree with you. Famous is better than being rich, and honestly, you're fucking stupid. So before you start dreaming about being famous, really look yourself in the mirror and just ask yourself, are you? But, but it might be changing though, like, for real, like, because fame, like, shit, like, you could get anyone with fame though, like, shit, you have clout. You're just a rich nigga, like, nobody knows you, like, maybe, but still, like, money can still get you somewhere, but fame, though, for some things. You really built for this shit? If you are, keep on going. But if you're not, McDonald's is always hiring. All right, bro. Besides that, appreciate You're not wrong, but, like, only the strong make it for real. Like, people that want to give up, like, give up, like, for real, bro. You're not made for it, but... The people that I want to keep doing, like, keep going. Shit, all y'all for watching. Follow all the socials Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, the uh, all that shit. At Cloud's Paradise channel is looking pretty good. Go follow that shit too. And also, my new channel, The Cloud, is basically just tradition. Oh, 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 dude, what do you just said to my channel just now? Like, come on, like, give, give your boy a subscription. Like, what are you doing? But what's your actual next? And your come on. But I'll see you guys.